Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, we're looking at the top 10 evil historical figures who were too brutal for the history books. We've all heard of Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin, Saddam Hussein, etc. But what about the evil men and women our history books don't really mention? Is there anyone more evil than Hitler? Is there anyone who is more cutthroat, literally and figuratively, than Stalin? The men and women in this video are the people that our history books have forgotten and probably won't appear in one for a long time. Let's get started. Number 10. Elizabeth Bathory Bathory was born on August 7, 1560 in Hungary and was known as a countess. Born into a powerful family name in Hungary, we can probably assume she was well off in life. Bathory was already known as a cutthroat lady because of the countless deaths of peasants and servants under her authority, which she got away with because of her high status. From direct orders made by King Matthias, based on his suspicions, he sent Count Gaigari Thurzo to the Sesthi castle. There he discovered the viciousness of Bathory. Thurzo caught Bathory in the middle of torturing many young girls. Her inhumane form of torture consisted of jamming needles and pins under her victims' fingernails and tying them down to soak them in honey so ants and bees could attack them. The Count even participated to please his lady, but when he died in the early 1600s, Bathory's method started getting worse. Bathory, along with her partner in crime, abducted girls and tortured them. She would bite chunks of their flesh, cook them, and force them to eat their flesh. Bathory believed that human blood made an individual's skin look young and healthy. She killed these young girls for their blood and rubbed her body with blood to stop her from aging. Number 9. Queen Mary I of England We've all heard the urban myth to summon the ghost of a woman called Bloody Mary, say her name three times in a mirror in the dark, and boom, she appears. Well, this myth is based on Queen Mary I. Now, she does have a small portion dedicated to her in our history books, but it mainly focuses on her success as a queen. Catholics and Protestants have always had a conflict between the two. During the Protestant Reformation, she killed hundreds of Protestants by burning them at the stake. In her attempt to make England become Catholic, hundreds died, and her hope for a more Catholic England failed. Number 8. Talat Pasha this prime minister to the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire was responsible for the genocide of the Armenian people. Now, many Americans do not like to refer to this as a genocide because Turkey is a U.S. ally, but this was nonetheless still a genocide. This is also the reason why Turkey cannot join the EU, because the Turkish government will not admit that it was a genocide. Pasha declared more than war against the Armenians. He declared an order to wipe out the entire race. Armenians were tortured, raped, killed, and robbed of all their belongings. Pasha and his partners forced Armenians into concentration camps. Pasha made people carry heavy supplies and forced them to walk miles without any food or water. If they failed, they would be killed. Many individuals were forced to rape their family members. Armenians were killed with clubs, hammers, axes, bayonets, and saws. Pasha's soldiers would even gash Armenian sex organs. Pasha is responsible for killing nearly 1.5 Armenians out of 2.5 million. Number 7. Yosef Mengele Many say you can't blame those who kill people if they were ordered to do so under executive orders. If you have your life on the line or your families, you would do whatever you have to to keep them safe. It's human instinct to do so. Under Hitler's order, Mengele was ordered to kill the Jews. Well, why does Mengele make the list if we should pardon those who kill under executive order? Well, Mengele was a physician. He was in charge of sending the Jews to concentration camps or to be killed. He chose the people to do experiments on. His most common experiments were done on twins, where he would look for the differences and similarities. He would try to change twin sexual organs, pour chemicals into their eyes, see if he could create conjoined twins, force parents to kill their children, and torture the twins only to see how long they could survive. He killed 2,800 twins out of 3,000 and sent nearly half a million people to death camps. He then escaped Germany and went to South America, where it is believed that he did medical experiments on about 90 more twins. Number 6. Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini Khomeini had a tough childhood, losing his father at the age of five months and his mother and aunt, who raised him in his teens, he grew up on his own. He then began to study Islam in depth. He personally believed that the leader of a country must be a religious role model. Instead of continuing a career into politics, he got deeper into his faith. He then became the religious leader of Iran from 1979 to 1989. He led the Iranian Revolution, which killed nearly 50,000 civilians. In the Iranian Revolution, in the name of Allah, Khomeini made his soldiers kill people who did not believe in Allah. 
If people listened to music, they would be killed or in prison. Couples were lashed nearly 100 times for kissing in public. Civilians were shot, hanged, gassed, stabbed, stoned, and burned alive. The punishment for stealing was to cut your hands off. Women's faces were burnt by acid. In 1988, Khomeini ordered his men to kill every prisoner if they did not repent for their sins. Children would be hanged from cranes. He held 52 Americans captive for over a year, and some were kept for six years. Khomeini is largely responsible for the Islamic holy war and the rise of al-Qaeda. Number 5. Thomas de Torquemada Now, for those who are saying Islam is a religion of killing innocent people and it's evil, then this guy here is for you. Torquemada was the Inquisitor of Spain from the years 1483 to 1498. In his attempt to save the Catholic Church in Spain and in the name of God, he was responsible for the Spanish Inquisition. The Spanish Inquisition was an ecclesiastical tribunal run used to pick out those who threatened the Roman Catholic Church in Spain. Without evidence, Torquemada would order that Jews be tortured or killed, reason being he didn't like them. Jews and many other people he thought were a threat to the church were tortured, killed, and were forced to surrender their property. Children were left to starve to death. When civilians were being tortured, they were usually naked. Torquemada's favorite torture methods were foot roasting and suffocation. People would be grilled, hanged, and burned. Torquemada would pull people's arms and legs out of sockets. He would force water down the throats and use a very tight cord to stop the blood flow of his victims. He would crush people with extremely heavy weight, and they would be pushed into chairs that had sharp points around the neck region. He used tools that would force their body to stretch, rip off his victims' nipples, ears, tongues, and genitals, and he would skin people. His actions and ideologies influenced future queen and king of Spain, King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella. Torquemada killed over 30,000 people. Number 4. Ivan the Terrible Ivan the Terrible, also known as Ivan IV, was the Tsar of Russia from 1533 to 1548. Even as a child, Ivan was cutthroat. He abused animals such as dogs and cats and threw them from the top of buildings. He began killing people in his teenage years because it was amusing. As the Tsar of Russia, he was quite paranoid and believed everyone was against him. He would strip citizens of their homes and land, forcing them to be homeless. He destroyed hundreds of villages and towns. He was also responsible for the Novgorod Massacre, where 60,000 people were tortured. He created his own torture chamber and sentenced entire families who he believed were enemies there. He got a bear and ordered many people to be eaten by bears and wolves. He had such an obsession with people dying that when he ordered people to be killed, he usually sat cozy and watched. Beside him were the parents watching the torture and execution of their children. Some executions lasted 15 hours. He removed people's ribs with hot pinches. He raped girls and used them as target practice. After being married for a day, he killed his wife. He beat his pregnant daughter-in-law because he believed that her clothes were inappropriate and killed his son by stabbing him in the head over an argument. He was a serial killer, nonetheless, and deserved the name that was given to him. Number 3. Idi Amin Idi Amin is what we call a politician. He promised democracy and change to the people of Uganda and to the world. Rather than changing Uganda to the promised land, he turned it into a poverty-stricken land and a killing field. He is considered the most sadistic dictator in the 20th century. He abused human rights, killed and expelled 80,000 Asians from Uganda, and was a political repressor. He killed hundreds of thousands of his own people. He would show live executions on television and tortured and killed soldiers, government officials, police officers, engineers, doctors, journalists, and many more. Amin's torture methods ranged from burying people alive, throwing people to crocodiles, forcing people to eat their own flesh, and even mutilated one of his wives by sewing her limbs upside down. He considered himself a cannibal as he ate human flesh and drank blood. Amin killed nearly half a million Ugandans. Number 2. Pol Pot Pol Pot served as Prime Minister of Cambodia from 1976 to 1979. His goal was to destroy Cambodia as a whole and later turn it into a new age. Pol Pot is known as the only man in history who ordered a genocide against his own country. His plan was to ban the Buddhist religion, possessions, and money. He separated families and put people into slave labor. People died from malnutrition, terrible medical care, execution, and starvation. Thousands were hanged and died from disease. During the rainy season, Pol Pot would force pregnant women, children, and the elderly to work on canals with water at neck level. If they failed to work, they would be killed. If you could not work because of an illness or just were not physically capable to, you would not be fed or you would be killed. If a civilian made a mistake in their job, they would be whipped to death or shot. Cambodians had no right to eat under Pol Pot. If people were caught eating when they weren't allowed to, they would be buried alive. 
Pol Pot hated the Vietnamese people and aimed to kill any Vietnamese that came to his sight. If you weren't Vietnamese but just looked like one, you would be killed. Prisoners of Cambodia were forced to drink urine and were beaten with hammers and axes. Pol Pot kept the skulls of some of the people he killed. He killed nearly three million of his own people. Number 1. King Leopold II of Belgium Although he was the king of Belgium, he ruled over the Congo Free State from 1885 to 1908. King Leopold is considered the greatest manipulator in politics. He made the world believe he was helping the Congo for the best, but in reality he was ruling by using forced labor. Under his ruling, the Congo was subject to a horrible regime. The relationship between the Congo and King Leopold is considered the greatest political scandal in history. His men tortured and slaughtered about 10 million Congolese. Congolese were killed if they didn't produce enough goods. Many of their villages were destroyed. Natives would be thrown into jungles. Natives were raped by Leopold's men. Millions died because of starvation, and nearly half a million died because of diseases. Under Leopold's reign over the Congo, he killed nearly 50% of the population. So some of those people were super brutal. If you know of any others who we missed, let alone them being missed in the history textbooks, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to read about them. Also, do subscribe to our channel for brand new videos every day, and don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it. Over there on the right, a couple of other videos you'll probably like, the uh, top 10 villainous rulers, and below that, top 10 lesser facts known about Napoleon. So be sure to check those out, and thank you for watching.